Thanks to the magic of cutting-edge audio restoration software, we can dig deep into a full stereo mix and steal isolated parts of it. Start by firing up Isotope's RX6 Advanced Editor with dubplate.wav loaded up. We can use RX6's center extract tool to isolate the wide pan horns and guitar skank from the rest of the mix. Open the center extract module and hit the preview button to hear the processing at work. Clicking keep sides will remove most of the central drums and bass from the mix, leaving just a guitar, horns, atmosphere and a little percussion. Pushing the reduction strength up to 1.9 will give us even more separation between the musical elements we want to keep and the central drums and bass we're removing. Reducing artifact smoothing to 3 will make the processing sound more natural. After exporting the process file to use later, open your door and set the BPM to 90 with dubplate.wav added to the timeline. Import the stereo file we made in RX6 earlier as individual left and right channels. This will split the file into two separate mono parts giving us the guitar skank and horn parts on separate channels. Next, we'll use Yellow Noise Audio's drum extract to remove the drum track from the full mix. Add drum extract to the dub plate channel and set the central dial all the way to harmonic. You'll hear that the drum track has almost totally disappeared, leaving behind plenty of ammo that we can steal for remix purposes. We'll start by rendering the dubplate channel in place to print the processing to audio. Next, we'll grab a 4 bar chunk of the breakdown from beat 3 of bar 32 onwards and copy it onto a blank audio channel for further processing. We can turn our breakdown snip into a clean sub-bass sample by using a simple low-pass filter. Add DDMF's IIEQ Pro CM to the channel. Then dial in an LPF24 filter with a frequency set at 149Hz and a Q 
at 0.8. To finish, a little saturation from Sonimus Satsun CM adds weight and harmonics to the bass. Without emphasising the frequencies we're looking to remove. <laughs> 